Hello everyone, this is John from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As you know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, what we are doing, we are continuously making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So we have started a series on technical structures where we are dealing about how you can do the G plus one building detailing using technical structures. Now, what we have covered so far in this, so in this, we have covered how you can modify the grid lines. Then we have learned about how you can model different structural members like the uh, footing, column, beam, slab, and the panels. And what we are going to do today? Today, we will do the reinforcement of the panels. So what we have covered so far, we have already covered the reinforcement of the footing, column, and the beams. So Today, we are going to cover how to provide the reinforcement in panel. And after that, we will cover how you can provide the reinforcement in slab in the next video. Okay, but we have to stick to this one. So guys, if you like this video, then hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Now let's start. So guys, we are going to start from here. That means if you are our regular viewer, then you know how to modify the grid lines like this and how to create views like this. And after that, now we will learn how you can model the panel and then how you can provide the reinforcement. So for the detailed knowledge of how you can model the panel, you can watch my previous sessions. And in this, I am just going to model the panel like this. That means you have to select two points and just click on the middle button of your mouse. That is your scroll button. Okay. So we are not going into detail of this modeling of a scene, but we are going to know about how you can provide the reinforcement in it. So like all other things, we will directly go to the application and component box where we will search for the mesh. Okay. So let's look for the mesh where you will get the mesh bars, mesh bars by area. And we are going to use these things in our slab also. But for the panels, we will just use the mesh bars. Okay, so just uh, click on this. And now we will simply choose the panel where we want to provide the reinforcement and simply click on that one. Okay, so this is your front view. This is your side view and this is your top view. So first of all, we'll work with the top view. Now we have to press escape and then we have to simply select the reinforcement and for that, we will double click on it and you will see that it is showing you all the dimensions that are present over here. That means what is the cover, what is the like length and what kind of bars are being provided, what are the different spacings and you can just do the modifications from here. Okay, so over here you can see I on the like outer portion that means as the primary bars we have this bar okay so you can also change it like this okay so if you want to just modify it like this then you can simply click on modify and it will be modified now you can relate it with a more practical way now what is the next thing that we can do we can also change the cover like if you want to make the cover as 25 to 40 then you can also just make the changes like this just make it 40 and click on modify so let's click on 40 and modify and you can see here you have changed the cover like this okay so like this you can simply change the covers over here for the primary bars if you want to do the same for the secondary bars then you will see how to do that in just a moment okay now let's bring it back to 25 okay let's keep it a standard so 25 over here and click on modify and now what are the other things that you can do you can just do the modifications different for all top bars and all bottom bars and if you want to keep it same then you can just click on same over here and check yes if you want to just do it differently then you can also do it differently you have to just check no and you can simply just register the start modifying the bars okay so we have to just come over here zoom it like this and then we can start modification in our primary bars suppose you want to go for a different bar set suppose say fe 500 with main bar of 16 mm dia 
then you can just go ahead with this now if you want to just set the spacing you can set the spacing if not you want to just uh, provide it by numbers then you can also provide it by numbers like you want 10 bars over here okay so just uh, zoom all other things also that you can do okay now just provide here 10 bars now click on modify and you will see that these bars have been modified that means your top bar that is this one in the, our case is increased by 16 mm dia and the spacing has been changed also so you can see the spacing over here okay for all the spacing bars it has been changed and the number is 10 on total okay i will just uh, zoom it over here so you can easily identify it okay now if you want to make it 20 then you can just make it 20 click on modify select the bars and click on modify and it will be modified to 20. if you want to make it 30 then you can also do that and if you want to just provide it by a spacing then you can also simply provide it by spacing now it is 200 suppose you want to make it 400 okay so just uh, notice over here on the top bar here in our case it is at bottom okay so just uh, keep noticing that click on modify and you will see it has been modified now i will bring it back to 200 now modify next thing we have all bottom bars okay so if you want to change it also then you can also change it suppose you want to make it uh, fe 500 and 20 mm dia bar just go for it then you want to change the spacing to 300 then you can also do that like this okay now click on modify and you will see it has been modified over here okay so this way you can just do the modifications now this was for primary bars now what about the secondary bars so if you want to keep all the primary bars and the secondary bars same then you can just keep it same or if you want to define it differently then you can simply define it differently so that's up to you you can just make the changes what is the next thing that is present over here it is about the direction of the primary bar so you can just make it auto you can use it by modification uh, like uh, arrow and you can also choose the x and the y direction whatever is suitable for you you can simply choose that and you can provide the direction of the primary bars from here okay same is for the up direction you can just use the plus minus x y and z and you can choose the directions from here okay next thing is about mar mesh bar detailing so we are going to go for detailing work over here okay so for that we will have to just monitor the next view and for that we will tile vertically and now you can easily monitor over here but for to see the difference just uh, keep everything at equal distance so that you can simply do the modifications and observe the modification okay now you can see this is the like uh, cover over here so you can just uh, change the cover if needed okay now i'm just going to change the cover by 200 okay just uh, to make it visible clearly okay so let's uh, make the cover 200 everywhere okay control v and you can just modify and you will see the cover has been changed like this okay or if you are making it different on the different sides suppose 50 over here and here okay so it is going to give you different results also so you can see here the cover is just 50 instead of 200 that is on the other side now this was about how you can change the cover and uh, now let's go for the next thing that is present over here what are the other modifications that you can do so you can just uh, change the adjustment also like you want to go like this if you want to go like this then you can also go like this one okay so like this you can see the difference over here what is the difference and if you want to go for this one click on modify so like this you will see the differences okay 
Now let's bring it back to the normal. Click on modify. Now, if you want to do the adjustment for the secondary bars also, then you can also do the same for that. Okay, like you want to leave a gap in the left direction, then you can simply do that. If you want to leave a gap over here, then on the top, both the directions, then you can just do that. Okay, so like this, you can just choose for it. And if you want to place it equidistantly, then you can also do that. Next thing is what? All bar grouping are all group tapered rebars. So if you have tapered rebars, then you can just use any of these three modifications and you can just provide the reinforcement accordingly. Then we have the all bar behavior at cuts, then all cut bars. If you want to just define everything, then you can also do it from here. Then ignore holes is smaller than, so you can set the diameter that if you have any kind of a holes smaller than this dia, then you can simply continue the reinforcement. And if you want to just do it for the cover, then you can also do that. Okay, then from here, we can just go for the mesh and other things. Now, the next thing over here is about the die, like means uh, what kind of bar we want at the end conditions. So if you want to make the changes, then you can simply make the changes on all sides. Like suppose you want to make it different on all sides, then you can set the cover from here or like suppose you want to extend it like uh, minus 1000. Okay, so let's take my it minus 1000 over here and minus 1000 over here. Okay, now click on modify. And you can see this has been extended like this. So you can do the extension of all the things over here. You can provide the different covers like if you want to make the cover to zero then you can simply make the cover to zero like this okay click on modify or if i will just expand this view then you can have a better understanding of all these things suppose i am making the like cover zero then it is touching the whole point if not then uh, suppose i'm just making it to 200 and 200 that means we are providing the cover of 200 in this direction then it will synchronize itself in this direction i will have to select it and click on modify okay so like this it will just reset itself now let's uh, keep it to 25 for now everything yeah now you can also change the direction of it like i want to change the direction to this Okay, so over here, you will not be able to visualize it. So I will go for another view over here. So let's go to another view. That means type vertically and over here, you can just see the differences. So let's focus at this point. Okay. Now you want to set the bending radius, then you can also choose the bending radius. Suppose you are making it 30, then bending length. Suppose you are making it uh, 25 or let's say 20. So bending length to 20 and 30. Now click on modify, select the bars and modify. Let's make it 30, then the length to 20, again to 20 and 30, modify. And you can see the modification over here. So like this, you can also make the changes on the another side that is over here. So you can simply just go ahead and choose this one and this one then again the same values 30 and 20 and then 20 and 30 and click on modify and you can see this has been modified okay 
so like this you can simply do the modifications of the shapes and if you want to keep it a straight then you can also keep it a straight like this okay now i'm just going to make it a straight over here now click on modify and it will come as the default one so you know how you can just do the modifications over here and how you can use all these techniques to do the detailing of the panels now guys i am just doing the detailing of the panels uh, like uh, an individual structural member over here but i will definitely make a video on how to do the complete detailing of a G plus one building in the upcoming sessions. So stay tuned to this channel and keep learning, keep motivating yourself. And we are going to explore the next thing that is over here. Okay. So this is about the splicing. So you can just uh, do the splicing also over here. Suppose you want to do the modifications of the splice bar, then splice bar, then you can simply do it like this. You can also set the like, uh, lapping length by distance or by coefficient of the bar diameter. So like this, you can simply use that. Okay. For the, both the primary and the secondary bars, you can do the changes. Okay. Next thing is a uh, mesh bars attributes. Okay. So you can just uh, uh, make the changes. So you have already uh, seen the previous videos where we have learned about the what are the prefixes of how you can set the classes so this is same for all the applications over there so you can just go ahead and find that out okay so guys this was all for this session and if you have any kind of doubt then you can simply ask that in another sessions or you can simply just leave uh, your doubt in the comment section i will definitely explore them out and i will definitely answer them okay so don't worry about uh, what you have to ask and how you can simply ask that our channel is free for you and uh, if you want the professional training on Tecla structures or any other software that is mentioned in the description, you can simply contact us. The all uh, a link for the registration has been given over there. You have to simply go over there and register yourself. And if you want to start your career as a consultant, then you can also contact us. There is a free webinar that is given in the description. Go ahead, watch that webinar and book a strategy call with us. Thank you.